Haven, a community coalition is working to bring attention to the end of federal funding for public schools. And Channel 3's Mark Robbins explains more about the group. Public education is a right. That is why we have to fight. Public education is a right. That is why we have to fight. Led by the president of the New Haven Federation of Teachers, demonstrators at three different sites in New Haven made sure their message was loud and clear. Just because federal funding due to the COVID-19 pandemic has ended, that doesn't mean the needs of the city's public school students should go unattended. Today was an inspiring morning. We had a coalition of union members from our union, New Haven Federation of Teachers, as well as paraprofessionals, Unite Here um, union members, so cafeteria workers, elected officials, community, all with one clear message. We need to fully fund our schools. New Haven received $127 million during COVID-19 pandemic funding. That money not only funded academic and extracurricular activities, but it funded all aspects of a school's function, like having a full-time nurse in every school. When we say fully funded, we believe every school should have a full-time nurse, a full-time librarian, full-time school counselors. Schools should be safe, welcoming, and well-maintained. A large fear among those attending the demonstration is a disappearance of the current programs. My expectations are all students get the same freedom, the same um, opportunities that I receive. But we have a clear message for our federal representatives, fully fund Title I and fully fund IDEA. Those two supports would give tremendous resources to students and families in New Haven. Three rallies here today in New Haven and then one in Hartford. And it is just the beginning. Organizers say they have a vision and there's a lot of work to go to make sure that they can see that vision to its completion. Of course, that is fully funded schools, not only for the districts in the major cities, but throughout the state of Connecticut. In New Haven, Mark Robbins, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.